Hey gang, welcome back to an all new review here on ToyWorldOrder.com starring me, Duvall, and my buddy, Puppet Duvall. Woo! What were you, what were you doing? Were you like, <laughs> you were eating the table? No. No, you were sleeping, no. you were sleeping on the table? No. What were you doing? No. Like you had your mouth on the table, your arm was draped no. over the table. No. Okay. Well. Oh, okay. You want to look at some toys? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. We got some great stuff for you today. We're actually going to take a look at uh, at some Connects items, but these are actually uh, some... Huh? Rickles. Where are you? Because they're not yum yums. Ow! Root host. Ow. Root host. Root host. Root host. Why am I a root host? Root host. Why? Why am I a root host? Root host. Because I because we're looking at Connects and not Legos. Root host. Oh, oh. <laughs> he's not saying rude host. I get what he's saying. It'll make sense to you in a second. Today we're actually taking a look at some awesome things from Kinex. Um, these are uh, for Aiden Up. Uh, these aren't, you wouldn't think that these are geared towards kids, but let's face it, kids watch the show. Don't lie to yourself, guys. Kids are watching the show. Trust me, my nephews are uh, 8 and 16 and they watch the show. So, And they were watching the show for years. So watching the show, but Kinex recently just released uh, a couple of sets and a series of two-pack figure sets uh, starring everyone's favorite family, family The Simpsons! Guy. No, Family Guy. Uh. The Simpsons are a different company. Uh. But today we're going to take a look at the three figure sets from Kinex, uh, which give you the entire, uh, the entire family, the entire Griffin family, mm -hmm. and uh, you were saying uh, Roadhouse. 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 Yes, Roadhouse. 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 Of course, Family Guy is a, a show that's filled with uh, a mile a minute gags and, uh, well, toilet humor, let's face it. Um, it's right up my alley because it's, 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 it's right up his alley because it's poo poo. I like it. You just like poo poo. Mm. <laughs> but today we're going to take a look at the, all three of the sets. Uh, there's uh, Peter and Chris, uh, Stewie and Lowen, Stewie and Lois. And, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Stewie and Lois and Brian and Meg. <laughs> Peter and Chris. Mm -hmm. Stewie and Lois. No. Brian and Meg. <laughs> Brian and Meg. <laughs> Meg. <laughs> Meg. <laughs> Meg. 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 <laughs> Meg. <laughs> This is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. Well, well let's put uh let's put these guys aside. Let's uh let's pop open this box here real quick. Oh no, there's tape on it. Oh, no! 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 Come here. Come here. No! Come here. Come here. Ah! No! I, didn't, I didn't get it. Stole my no! finger. I'm just gonna put it on your nose. No! Oh, I'm sorry, I thought it would be cute. Apparently not. Apparently I can't do nothing to pub anymore. You poop. Ow! Roadhouse! <sighs> Roadhouse. 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 Get it now? He kicked me. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Apparently you put one pixel Dan on a guy's back and it's all downhill from there. Oh wait. Meg. Pixel Dan. Pixel Dan. Meg. Pixel. Meg. Pixel Meg. Oh, oh my. Yeah. You uh you need to take a moment. Sorry. That was your own fault there, big guy. Yeah. So of course uh it doesn't come out, but in the back of the box there is actually a little uh, little insert that shows the Griffin living room there, which is kinda cool. And then, uh, of course, the figures are, are all are both packaged uh, with a little instruction manual. Uh, while not entirely necessary, it's a nice little touch. On the front of the little instruction manual, it shows you the, uh, the characters included in there. Uh, on the back, it shows you basically how to uh, take them apart and put them back together if they were to fall apart. So that's a nice little touch by Connects. Uh, and then the figures themselves, we'll get them out of here. Let's take a look at Peter and Chris here first. So you've got, uh, you've, so you've got uh, out of the box, you've got, 
You got Peter and Chris, which is pretty cool. We'll set those down here and I'll get the other ones out of the box and we'll take a little bit closer look at these figures. What are you? Oh. Well, as I say, you're not gonna eat those, are no. they? Because they're not they're not num nums. No. And we, we looked at num nums last time. No. Surprisingly you didn't try to eat any num nums, which I'm very proud no, of you for the no. Oh, you didn't want to eat Batman. No, okay. Because you're afraid uh, you're afraid they the Because you see Eating Batman would uh, cause Puppet Duval great distress and probably indigestion. Probably. <laughs> Eat that. Get a piece of tape to chew on. It's like like uh, like peanut butter. It'll keep him busy for a while. It's a cur oh, Roadhouse. I should have should have seen it coming, but um, unfortunately, I don't think that fast of you know. Roadhouse. And of course, uh, inside the Stewie and Lois. You get the Griffin, uh, the Griffin kitchen in the box, which is kind of cool. And again, the little inserts uh, don't—they don't—they uh, don't come out. They're—they're they're attached. To, they're part of the box. Um, you probably could take them out by taking the bottom apart, but there's really no way to display them once they're out, uh, which is which, whoops, kind of sad. So we'll uh, we'll take Lois and uh, Lois and Stewie out and set them here. And then the last box. <laughs> Stewie's, uh, <laughs> Stewie's breakdancing. Look at him. He's on his head and everything. So the last one to open here is, uh, I know. Roadhouse. The last one to open here is Brian and Meg. And uh, this set actually inside, you get the rest of the Griffin living room, which is the staircase, as well as the, uh, the, the famous wall of pictures and the stereo that uh, constantly gets broken every time someone gets in a fight in the house. The stereo is... Uh, Usually the first door, or uh, one of the first things to uh, be destroyed. So, we say we get these uh, these last two out here. Maybe. Brian didn't let them out. Yes, yes I know. Well, Brian's in there super. Oh. Oh, what have I done? Oh, Brian. It's okay, Puppet of All. He goes back together. Look, he's okay. He's okay. Yeah. Well, let's say we uh, we take a closer look at the Family Guy figures. So the three two packs that Connects has released for the Family Guy, actually the family of Family Guy, the Griffins, is very cool. Of course, you've got the Meg and Brian set. You've got the Peter, or the you know, the Meg and Brian set. You've got the Lois and Stewie set, and you've got the Peter and Chris set. Now all of these figures are very nice, they're very cool. Brian is, I think, one of my favorite figures just because um, not only did Connects do a really great job with, with the design of this Connects figure with the, the paints on it, the head itself, but they also designed that he's also got a little tail and this is pretty much the same uh, uh, kind of idea they used for Yoshi in the Mario series except he doesn't have the big, the big bottom half, but he does have a little tail that you, could, you can move and he can wag, which is kind of cute. Uh, Brian's a really cool figure. You've got Meg who of course uh, is, is a perfect representation of, of the character from the animated series. And again, Kinex has done a really good job with the with the design on these figures, with the paint, uh, the details. I mean, not only did, you know, can, can you see that, the, you know, she's got a pink shirt on and then she's got another shirt on underneath that, that you can just see the bottom of it like she does in the show. Uh, her pants, you know, her, her, her trademark hat that she always wears, the glasses, uh, her shoes, everything is well done on all of these figures. Chris is the same way. I mean, just just a, a superbly detailed figure and a very very cool representation of the character. I love the the Griffin. I love the hands that they've done for these figures. They're much different than the the Mario uh, Kart figures that we've seen in their hands. These hands are very very uh, much bigger, much more cartoony, which is cool. But uh, Brian, uh, Chris is a, a very cool looking figure, and again a perfect representation of his character. Uh, the, the, the main man of the family, uh, Mr. Peter Griffin, is very neat. Again, the details on the shirt, on the pants, I mean, he's got his, the belt is painted all the way around. Uh, Connects really, when it comes to making figures like this, there are a lot of companies out there that wouldn't do all this extra detailing, especially in the back that you would never see. They would just detail the belt on the front and the rest of it would all be left, left blank. But Connects is very good about uh, staying true to the, uh, to, to the characters that they do in this format and the designs they put on these characters. And they're, they're again, like I keep saying, they're very, very well done and very cool. Um, and I really do like them. And then you get to Lois, uh, who is, you know, is the probably the the, the 
tallest and uh, quite frankly skinniest of the Griffin family here, but uh, the paint on the face, the head design here, the details on her clothing. I like how they painted, uh, just like in the cartoon, they painted the bottom of her shirt uh, just kind of hanging down over the front of her pants there, which is kind of neat, but it ruins the illusion when you move her. Of course, when you move her waist, it, it ruins that illusion that her, her shirt is one piece there. But with her facing forward like that, it does create that illusion that it is all one piece, which is very, very neat. And then you get to none other than, well, my favorite, uh, Stewie Griffin, who is just an expertly, expertly detailed figure. Um, I love the look of this figure, uh, his facial sculpt, you know, he's got the, the very grumpy Stewie look on his face. Uh, he's got his little, his, his little, uh, his little red, uh, <laughs> His little his little red jumper piece there with the, the yellow shirt, uh, his oops, his little shoes which are perfect. My only complaint with it, while all of these figures stand up well on their own, Stewie has a little bit of an issue because he's you know he's he stands up fine now, but uh, you have to kind of play with his legs a little bit to get him to work because his head he's so top heavy that he just kind of falls over. But the great thing with these Kinex figures is of course they're all built that you can uh, you can take them apart just like so, so you can actually mix and match parts which I find is kind of fun. Um, so you could put uh, Stewie's Stewie's legs on Peter's head, and then give them. Uh, let's give him. Uh, let's give it Meg's head. So you can create these really <laughs> these really kooky creations of uh, family of weird Family Guy uh, mutations of different characters, which is kind of neat. So these are these are really great. To, like I said, Connects does such a good job with these figures uh, in, in, in releasing them. I hope that we see more sets. I would like to see more character sets of these figures. Uh, I'd like to see the rest of the the, the, the crew from Family Guy show up, um, the different characters that have uh, been a part of the show since its, uh, since its birth many, many years ago. Let me see if I can get everybody to stand up here, right? See what I mean? Stewie didn't stand up, there we go. And I do look forward to hopefully one day picking up more of these if Kinex ever decides to release uh, and expand on the Family Guy uh, characters in the Family Guy set. So a very cool little three collector sets that you can buy the three two packs. So I suggest you find these because these are very, very cool. There you go, gang. There's a look at the uh, three figure sets for Family Guy. Of course, this is actually the only way. There, there are a couple other sets which we'll take a look at, but this is the only way you can get the whole Griffin family is by buying these three two packs, which not a bad deal considering uh, considering you can get the whole family pretty easily. Uh, these are available at most Toys R Us's right now. You can find them pretty readily available at Toys R Us. But the figures themselves are really cool. I mean, they're they're pretty a great representations of these figures. And I'll be honest. Uh, had these been Lego or Mega Blocks or someone, you know, or God forbid, Creo, uh, I apparently Creo and Meg have something in common. I don't think anyone could have pulled them off as good as Connects did. Uh, these characters are almost perfectly suited to the Connectsmen, Connects bodies that they've done over the years, from the articulation to the to the to the just the great. Uh, the, the great way they work in 3D on these bodies is perfect. I mean, I don't think there's any greater example of that than Stewie. I mean, he's got the big head, the little body here, um, and it just looks, it, it's just a, a perfect representation of that figure. I mean, even Meg, for all her disgustingness, uh, is, uh, is, is a perfect recreation of the actual animated character of Meg. Um, I mean, it's Meg. It, Meg's not cool. Uh, Meg's... Meg. Meg, 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 Meg! Oh, I'm gonna have to clean that up, aren't I? But again, these figures from Connects, for anyone that's a Family Guy fan, these are a great collectible to get because uh, while we're not getting any more really figures for Family Guy, we've gotten a couple over the years, uh, these are a great, great collectible that you can go out and buy right now for Family Guy, and they fit easily on any shelf. I mean, you can display them on any shelf pretty easily because they're so tiny and they're small, and you can work in an office, and you can take them in there and display them. Um, you can, you know, you can put, uh, I can put Meg in Puppet DeVault's closet, so when he wakes up, he can see her as the first thing he sees. Mm. Yeah. See Meg? Meg, Meg, Meg. She loves you. She wants to hug you. Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. Well, there you go, gang. Riddles. Hope you enjoyed this look at the uh, Connects 2 packs for Family Guy. <coughs> I swallowed some fur. <coughs> so, until next time, gang, uh, we'll be back uh, again with some more great uh, 
great review. So uh, check back with us, and uh, gang, until next time, uh, keep playing with your toys. Rudolph. Rudolph! Ah! <laughs> Revenge! Revenge!